Hello YouTube and thank you for watching. Today I'm going to talk about a production issue that I had to resolve recently. A user was reporting that the application screen was not loading and the log shows Aura 1427 single row subquery returns more than one row error and asked the DBA for assistance. The way to capture the query that is triggering this error is to create an after server error on database trigger. Filter on the error number, which in our case is 1427. Capture the text and log it into a table. This is the source for the trigger, and this is the source for the table. After the two objects are created, allow sufficient time for the application to trigger the error. Let's go ahead and see what information has been captured. And here you can see that there were five events that have occurred triggering the Aura 1427 exception. Let's take a look at the first entry. The application is calling a store procedure with a parameter. The way you find the SQL that is triggering the error is to go to the store procedure, right click, profile, enter the parameter, and click OK. And as expected, it is storing the aura. 1427 exception. Click on OK and if you click on the last line this will show the execution hierarchy and here is the SQL that is triggering the exception. If you double click you can get the full SQL The profile option will actually execute the store procedure, which may not be possible in a production environment. In this case, you can execute this in the lower environment to find the SQL ID. Hope you found this information useful. If you like the content, please hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you.